6.1.1 asks you to create different types of charts from spreadsheet data. That's column charts, bar charts, line charts, and pie charts. Now, essentially, it's all the same kind of thing in terms of creating charts, although there are a few differences between the types. The first thing you've got to do is be able to highlight the set of data that you need. So if, in this case, if I asked to make a chart from the hours, I'd highlight that. Now, this is where that skill in being able to highlight a range of data comes in. These two columns are next to each other, so I can highlight them straight away. If I asked to, however, do the name and the total pay, you have to use that different select tool, which is holding down the control key, where you highlight one row, let go of the mouse, hold the control key, and highlight the next set of data. Now, to make a chart, you go to the Insert, and under the Chart tab here, you can see the different types that are available. So let's just go for a straightforward column. And here we have our chart. Now, if I wanted to include, do this as a pie chart, it would be the same kind of thing, but insert a pie chart. Now, one of the things you may be asked to do is to change the data. So if I want to change this data to hours, how can I do that? Well, it's in the Design tab under the Chart Tools. And 99 times out of, well, almost 99, if you click on an object and a new toolbar appears, this is where the tools are going to be that you need. So in this case, we're actually looking in Design. And in here, we're looking at Switched Column Row Columns, Select Data. So I click on my chart, and then Select Data. You can see I get these dotted lines around my actual data. Now, what I want here is the total pay. What I want to do is make this the hours. So I can remove the total pay, click on Add, and then it asks me for the series name. Well, the series name here is hours, so I click on hours. And the series values, I want the number of hours for each person. Now, I've got a little error there because I kept in that bit at the beginning, so I want to get rid of that section and the plus sign, and then we're OK. Now, the axis labels are the people who are working. So again, we can click on Edit and highlight the names of the people involved, and you can see they pop up into the chart. Now, the same thing works for column charts. Design tool, select data, and we can add our hours, and then we can pick our hours, and OK. And you can keep them both side by side in this case. Or I can get rid of the data that I didn't actually want to have involved in this one. Creating line charts and bar charts, exactly the same thing. So we clicked on here. We can actually change the data type and choose, let's change the bar chart. And OK. And it just simply switches it around. 